fellow Democrats. Yeah, yesterday he met with Democratic governors at the White House. This all comes as a second House Democrat is pushing for Biden's withdrawal. CBS News' Leah Mishkin has reactions from those meet from that meeting with those governors. The governors have his back. Multiple Democratic state governors closed ranks around President Joe Biden after meeting with him at the White House Wednesday. President Joe Biden is in it to win it. And all of us said we pledged our support to him. It comes as the president works to reassure his fellow Democrats of fitness for office after last week's poor debate performance, which he addressed in a radio interview yesterday. I had a bad night. I screwed up. I made a mistake. That's 90 minutes on stage. Look at what I've done in 3.5 years. The same day, the president also told his campaign staff, quote, let me say this as clearly as I possibly can and as simply and straightforward as I can. I am running. No one's pushing me out. I'm not leaving. But already at least two sitting House Democrats from Texas and Arizona have called on Biden to step down. A senior House Democrat tells CBS News that number could grow in the coming days, as a new CBS News poll now shows former President Donald Trump with a slight edge nationwide among battleground state voters. I would prefer to have another choice. I believe that if there's anybody right now that can beat Trump, it's Biden. Tomorrow, President Biden will rally in Wisconsin and sit down for a television interview. Next week, another big test with the president hosting the NATO summit in Washington. Leah Mishkin, CBS News.